because I came up here right after 9-11. And, uh, and so that was 2001. And that was before Dirty Jobs, but I was, I've been impersonating a voiceover guy you know, for 35 years. So the, so the business end of the, the sheep cervix came sometime between, <laughs> I don't even know what was in there. Yeah. It's, I mean, once you're marking your days, you know, by various kinds of, um, animal husbandry violations, right. You know, like there are no more holidays left in my calendar. It's <laughs> yeah. like, oh yeah, yeah. October. That's the time we castrated lambs with sheep. I remember that. That's funny. Time. That's literally the next thing I've got, which is one of the most memorable episodes had to be when you're castrating sheep and the guy goes, you know, it's easier if you just bite it off. That moment actually became a TED talk um, accidentally. I gave a TED talk in 2008 <laughs> and I went down there because I thought the the network asked me to go down and say a few words at this conference that they were sponsoring. So I was like, well, okay, I, I can say a few words. But I walked into a full-blown TED Talk. My picture was on the wall hanging there uh, with something like Lessons from the Dirt written on it. Uh, and then some, you know, a 20-minute rumination on the changing face of the modern-day proletariat vis-a-vis -vis the digital divide with wow. micro, right? So it's like, yeah, that... So I had three hours to put some kind of story together for, for Ted. I, didn't, I wasn't even sure what Ted was, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, that moment after I had, I, had called, I had called the Humane Society to make sure I was doing it right because I – that show, man, we Wait, heard – Did they make sure you were properly biting off? Oh, no. I didn't know I was be biting them off. I just oh. didn't know. I mean, in those days, Dirty Jobs – we there was a file this thick on one of my boss's desks filled with letters of complaints from what I called the uh, the army of angry acronyms. <laughs> so every week it was somebody else. You know, it could be could be OSHA, could be PETA, could be HSUS, could be the What's EPA. What's HSUS? Humane Society of oh, the States. Oh, got it. Yeah. Right. So I mean, this is the thing about TV. You know, everybody watches it through their own lens. And if you are in an organization, then you have an agenda and your agenda becomes the most important thing, right? So everything you see, everything around you either comports or fails to comport with uh, your own version of morals and dogma. And with a show like Dirty Jobs, um, it was like, like before the army of correctors really reared their collective heads, which of course is where we're living today. Yeah, good luck doing Dirty jobs today. Well, that's that's why my podcast is called The Way I Heard It. That's why my book is called The Way I Heard Cappuccino? It. Cappuccino? That's why the cappuccino is called <laughs> The Way I... This is actually... Thank you, Ryan. You're welcome. This is really the single best thing about doing voiceover. Yeah? Getting Honestly. coffee brought to you? You know, you sit in a clean, well-lighted place. The temperature is controlled. You sound more credible than you are. And every so often, people bring you a beverage. Yeah. It's nice. I mean, you had sparkling water here. I mean, I probably shouldn't even say that. I mean, your your image right now, you're the, this blue collar hero, and it's like there's Perrier here and a cappuccino on the end of the table. Look, it's not like I made either one of them. That's just what was here, and, yeah. and and my image, to the extent that I have one, I hope is rooted in the fact that I will uh, accept with grace uh, whatever beverage is brought to me by whomever at whatever time. Yeah. Didn't mean to throw the whoms in yeah, there, but yeah. you know what I mean? I was going to say, that's not doing you any favors with all that. I'm from Michigan, so, like, you got – we talk in a certain way. Yeah. And Perrier is not in the vocabulary, <laughs> and cappuccino is also not in the but, vocabulary. But don't you think that that kind of cognitive dissonance is exactly what the country needs right now, right? right rather, than, rather than people completely embracing their own trope, right? You know, I mean, we're – we seem so anxious as a country to put everybody into their own category. So if you see a guy in a flannel shirt who you recently saw castrating lambs and crawling through sewers having a cappuccino, well, say, wait a second, something must be wrong here. <laughs> he must be a fraud. Right. Because, I mean, nobody would crawl through a sewer and have a cappuccino, right? The cappuccino drinking is just CGI. The rest of it's real. Actually, this is all CGI. <laughs> yeah. this is, I'm, I'm not really here. I've been gone for some time. That explains why it was easy to book this. Yeah, he's not really going to be there. You're gonna Speaking have to of which, we we did this what like two years ago or oh, a year and a half ago? more. Oh, it was probably three or four years ago. Yeah, and we did it here, right? It was and here, we, not in this room. No, in the next same, door in the one that burned down. So you, there were, we had a fire here at one union, but it's better, but better than ever. 
back. Um, I'm just saying that if I if I start telling you a story that I told you before, and if I remember it, I will say something. Or your surely your viewers will. We'll hear about it. it we'll get letters from acronyms. Sure. Yeah, this is the uh, depart. Yeah, the. <laughs> I don't even know what the acronym would be. The Department of People Who've Already Heard This Effing Story Before. Yeah, uh, which one D- we, you know? P H B. Yeah, they're yeah. out there. They're out there. Yeah. It's, it, so you've seen it too, right? Like of this, course. This giant sort of spasm of correction where everybody all of the time now is armed with this thing yeah. and access Smartphone. to like 99% of all the information in the world, except that all the information in the world contradicts itself too. So we are just completely obsessed with voicing an opinion, offering proof that our opinion is correct, offering backup from sources that may or may not be real. Real. No one yeah. knows anything. It's it's it, it's amazing. And to my earlier point, that was just starting to happen when dirty jobs exploded. We were constantly finding ourselves answering questions from experts in every imaginable field, every imaginable vocation. You know, that business on the crab boat was kind of interesting, but technically what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And it's on the one hand, it's interesting and it's good to be right. On the other hand, it's amazing. It's just amazing. The, the absolute heft, uh, the tide, the tide of correct, correctiveness it's a little scary because now we don't really know – there's almost no way – well, first of all, there's no way to be right, which is fine. You don't, I don't have to be right. But it, it's a little dangerous because I have to think now, do I want to express this opinion? Mm. Because I might hear a lot from a lot of people that, that it's unpopular. And, of course, they would say, well, if you're hearing a lot, then maybe you should change your thinking. And maybe there's, maybe there's something to that. You know, if mm. I say I, – in fact, I, I said a long time ago, oh, that's – that's retarded. And someone goes, hey, this is me and my mentally d- disabled sister. And like, you know, w- that it's not really nice and you should be more woke, but I still like you and I like your show. That's OK. I can take that kind of correction. But when I another time I said, this guy was just having a complete spasm on the show. And somebody wrote in and went, how dare you? There are people that can't help but have those. And you're well, who's having spasms on purpose. I mean, <laughs> that's a good point. Nobody schedules in, you know, a spasm in the bit midst of an otherwise hectic day. I got to leave time. Right. You know, somewhere between two and three, I like to have a good twitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and get those, warm up those letters, people. He said twitch. <laughs> Copywritten.